Hello. I am Andrew Korkin. I want to introduce you to the table hockey robot. The robot is able to play hockey on its own. It sees the real world through the camera and controls six players on the field using electric drives. It was like a hobby. And it took 18 months to create a robot from original ideas before recording this video. Which can be divided into three stages. Mechanics. Object recognition and game training. It took six months to assemble the mechanical part of the robot. Study. Purchase of components and assembly, alteration of what did not suit. The main components are the camera, the Arduino controller, power supplies, 12 motors, drivers for the motors, a lot of wires, iron and all the little things I need from the world of 3D printers and more. Another six months was spent on recognizing the objects of the playing field, the location of the puck and 12 players. I got acquainted with the Python language, the TensorFlow machine learning library, the Open Computer Vision library, and much more. I tested and chose a suitable neural network for quick recognition of images of small objects on weak devices. Because I plan to run it all on a microcomputer instead of a desktop computer. Very painstaking work was done to prepare a set of images of players and pucks for training the neural network. As a result, I got the location of all the players and the puck on the playing field. It took another six months to train the players to defend the goal. Pass the puck and score goals. This is the most important thing. The robot through the full HD camera, which is located a meter above the playing field, sees everything that happens on the field, where the players are, where the puck is and makes decisions. It sends control commands to the mechanical part. First to the Arduino Mega Controller via the USB port. The controller itself sends signals further to the motor drivers. And those already to the motors themselves. Which set the players in motion. In total, on each side of the field we have six players. A goalkeeper and five on the field. Each of the six players is set in motion by a pair of motors. One for moving forward and backward in the field. And the second motor moves the player's club left and right. Movement can be very slow, and very fast for the dynamics of the game. In this video I won't go into too much technical details. Better let's see right now what this machine is capable of. At the moment there are three game modes. First mode for beginners, the robot plays easily, does not hit the puck hard. Second medium mode for advanced. Players quickly move across the field to the puck, striking the puck with the force of the average player. Third powerful mode for fans of fast hockey. All players almost always move at lightning speed, the puck often just flies along an unpredictable trajectory and can be at the gate very suddenly. By the way, 
when the puck is at someone else's goal, the robot talks about it. I like the second mode of it more and I will choose now. Let's go.
This is the first version of the robot. There are many ideas for further improvement of both software and mechanics. First of all, you need to install the microcomputer on a platform near the mechanical part so that the robot becomes self-sufficient and does not require a connection to a computer. That's all for now, to be continued. Thank you.